welcome once again. My name is Ginika Olwaha. Like I told you, this will be our consent this morning on the platform. And joining me virtually to discuss this particular issue is a former minister for works and a member of the All Progressives Congress, Chief Emeka Wogu. Good morning, Chief. Thank you so much for coming on this yes, show. Yes, good, good morning. Uh, just a correction. Um, I wasn't minister for works. I okay, was labor. Minister for Labor right. and Productivity, and sometime I was a uh, vice minister of the interior. Okay, welcome. So, thanks. For thank that you. Correct. Now, thank um, you. like what we are talking about, that is uh, the South East Development Commission. It is a law right now. That means um, people of the South East will, any moment from now, be seeing this commission get into you know action and do the needful why it's actually set up now as a former minister and a stakeholder how much of uh, stakeholders buy-in do we have for this project to get to this point like we are seeing it today well uh, let me begin first of all to thank almighty god for today mm. for making it possible for us to have a uh, southeast development commission okay. and again we are most grateful to the president and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, GCFR, mm. for signing the bill into law. And again, most grateful, sincerely grateful to the sponsor of the bill and his colleagues who supported him mm. as our own dear brother and son from the South East, Right Honorable Benjamin Okeze Kalo mm -hmm. for his foresight, for his tenacity, for his sagacity and his political will mm -hmm. to make this come to reality. Mm -hmm. In the past 54 years, there have been agitation for proper reintegration of the Igbos of the Southeast. Yeah. And um, for the federal government, several federal government uh, administrations you know to address the issue of you know neglect in the southeast mm. which has been ravaged with all sorts of infrastructural decay arising from the three-year nigerian biafra civil war yeah. particularly the effect of heavy kinetic bomb, bomb uh, bombing of the region Mm. You know, we've been uh, suffering from that uh, scare mm. or scares of that particular event, that unfortunate event. Mm. I must state again mm. that uh, after the war, the head of state, then General Yakubu Gowan, came with a conciliatory approach, which he called the three hours mm. reconstruction, rehabilitation, and uh, reintegration. Mm. But I must state that this bill signifies and sign, has signposted the reintegration of the Igbos of the Southeast. Mm -hmm. And then the Igbos of Southeast, which is made of five states, are happy and most grateful to these two gentlemen who made it possible for today mm -hmm. to happen. Mm -hmm. And I think, by extension, mm -hmm. the Igbos who are outside the Southeast states, Southeast region, mm -hmm. are equally happy. And there have been a lot of excitement since last uh, yesterday mm -hmm. about the signing of this uh, all important uh, bill into law by the president. Mm -hmm. And I think um, it came at the right time. It came at the time the Igbos felt that would be neglected. And it is, you know, and it came from um, a Southeast personality, uh, right honorable Ben um, Carlo who has been quite effective in his regional uh, in his making sure that our region is peaceful our region sees a uh, development in all facets of um, social political uh, sectors you know uh, last december he launched a peace in southeast uh, project which is uh, using a non kinetic approach to make sure that we have a habitable a peaceful and highly secure the Southeast. And with this new commission coming into place, it will complement all his previous efforts. Mm. And the efforts 
of our stakeholders because you mentioned stakeholders. Stakeholders, you know, gave mm. him support okay. this time around. And then a lot of elders of the Southeast and poli uh, political figures mm. have been equally on the forefront of making sure that this happens. But we thank God it has happened now. No time is late. Mm. And we are grateful to Almighty God. And uh, we are happy it is now from the evil of the Southeast to reciprocate this good uh, gesture of Mr. President. And how do we do it? Mm. We should all come out to support his administration, support the efforts and the good uh, strides, excellent strides of our party, all, people, uh, all progressive uh, Congress, APC, mm. in the political affairs of this country. It is a renewed hope the Ndibo now believe that actually our hope has been renewed by this particular event that happened yesterday. Okay, so let's talk about the funding because that should be another major aspect to this, uh, to making sure that this commission works effectively. Now, the funding, you, when you look around uh, presently, Honorable uh, Minister, you will agree with me that um, the fund, I mean, the economic challenges that this country is facing right now uh, is biting so hard on virtually everything. And one will be wondering, will this commission get the needed funding to make sure that they take off smoothly and achieve whatever thing they have set out to do? Well, one of the agenda mm. of this administration is to revive the economic uh, uh, downturn which is not isolated to the country alone it is a global thing the, the, the rate of inflation is um, increasing day by day in most countries including the the ones we refer to as highly civilized countries but in the country now there is um, an effort concerted effort by this administration led by president Bolad Ahmed Tinibu to make sure that the economy is revived mm -hmm. and then um, there have been quite an increase into the federation account of the federal republic of nigeria mm -hmm. and this is as a result of the efforts being done by this administration to make sure that uh, we increase our gdp we increase our revenue earning and then be able to sustain the economic policies of this country. I will tell you, nothing has changed in terms of revenue stream to the Northeast Development Commission, which is the first development commission that is regional. Contributions mm -hmm. have come from the Federation account and the other areas anticipated you know, by the law mm -hmm. guiding the Northeast Development Commission. And I believe too, that the section concerning revenue um, into the commission will not be hampered. Mm -hmm. But although we need uh, money to develop the zone, it will come as the um, economy is highly being fixed by this administration. Okay, I don't have any doubt All right. about that. What, are, what about the governors? Do you see them actually contributing the needed financial support for this commission? Because uh, I know that uh, maybe the federal government may not have all the funds, you know, to channel to this commission. Maybe there will also be expectation uh, from the five Southeast governors. Do you see them contributing and giving the financial support needed to make sure that this commission works very well? Well, let me begin by thanking all the five governors of South East States for the support they gave, you know, during the struggle and the agitation to have this bill passed at the both chambers of the National Assembly. Because if they did not buy into it and support it, then we'll still be, you know, be in a situation where we'll not have been able to get these bills passed. So having supported it and supported the sponsor, of this bill, right honorable Benjamin Carlo, to have the bill passed, I, they will support this particular uh, commission by their own contribution. I think the Southeast governors will definitely meet to look at the events of yesterday mm. and then decide on the way forward. Mm. But if there are provisions in the act that mandates or make it mandatory for mm. the states to contribute, 
a portion. They will do it. Because mm -hmm. not doing it means that the law is being observed in breach. Mm -hmm. So I think they will support it because they've been actually out for such a development to come into place. Okay. And then I mm -hmm. urge them to support the commission. Mm -hmm. So in all ramifications within the ambits of the provisions of that act, mm -hmm. and then go a time when the need arises to to sacrifice and then contribute more to the funds of the commission. Okay, Honorable Minister. Finally, from here, um, so many people are beginning to raise doubts as regards to this commission. Uh, with the coming on board of this commission, will it erode the call and agitation? For the release of the IPOB leader Nambi Kanu. Maybe the president will say, I have granted you people this. Why are you still asking for this? Well, um, like I said, the, mm. this um, law came in timely. Mm. It came at the time people are agitating for the release of uh, Mazin Nambi Kanu. So, and uh, I think his agitations, you know, when you look at the gamut of his agitations, you find elements of his agitation now covered by this uh, act, mm. you know. And then, um, because majorly the act is, is going to address certain issues that, you know, most Nigerians and most Southeasterners have been agitating for. Mm. So, I believe that... Um, is a situation that uh, you know the stakeholders in the southeast and uh, will sit back and uh, review mm -hmm. and then uh, continue to push for his release you know which definitely will come as a political via political solution because the matter is in court already yeah. so i don't want to go into the details of mm -hmm. the matter because it, it is some judice okay. but we'll pray that um all things will be good in the southeast beginning from now mm -hmm. all right let me sincerely thank you the former minister for labor and productivity <coughs> and also former coordinator minister for interior chief emeka wogu thank you so much for speaking okay, with us thank on the you uh, thank you it's nice uh, being on this program this morning all right and uh, have a nice day all right you too thank you <laughs>